Hey, what up, guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a different video, a bit of an extra video for you. Uh, I have already uploaded a Road to Glory. If you want to watch that, I'll leave a card in the top right corner. But as you can see, we're going to be winning Tots Pulisic today. So, the American player plays his football for Dortmund. And he is the, the reward for winning the daily knockout tournament this week. Now, this is the team that I've used. It's a very, very stacked Premier League side. It's about as good as I can make it, really. Uh, loads of crazy good players in here. This is how I play with it in-game. I actually play Marcus Alonso as a center mid. And I'm, I'm not kidding you, right? He is probably the best center mid I've ever used in FIFA. Look at the stats that he's got. Don't Just don't tell me he wouldn't be a good CM. And he started scoring goals for me as well. So, uh, yeah. What I'm trying to say here is I've got a very crazy stack team, obviously. That makes it easier for me, right? But what I'm saying is use the best team that you possibly have to your, you know, to your ability because... It's going to help you along the way, obviously. Now, the first game, we, we match up against someone who's got a very average team. It's just like a, a Serie A team. Not not even the best players from that league are in that squad. Uh, and he countered, or I counter on him after he has a free kick very early on. Uh, and then we just play it across to Lalana to stick that one in the back of the net. Another thing you'll see here is that I'm going to try and take the chances that are most sensible, right? There is a reward player up for grabs. So don't take any nonsense. Just score the goals that you could... That, you know, that actually come in front of you. Don't necessarily try and bang in a long shot rather than play the, the best potential pass. Uh, just do what you can to get the goals and ideally to try and make the person quit. Now, that guy did quit in the very first game. So, yeah, that was that was very nice. It means I can move on around it. It only took me like five minutes, which is very, very good. Uh, and I think probably having such a colourful team with loads and loads of stacked players is... is one of the reasons people might quit on me quite early. I don't know what you guys, you know, what sort of teams that you guys have got. But if you've played foot champions this year, even without spending money, you guys can have an absolutely ridiculous team. Just look at uh, Nepenthes and Fuji and and all of those guys, Nick2018, who have got crazy Road to Glory accounts. Uh, the, the players they have is just actually unbelievable. Better than my main account, which has had money spent on it. So, into this second game we go. Now, I was struggling to break down this guy's defense. Or, when I did break it down, I was struggling to put the ball into the back of the net. Uh, Lukaku here does burst past one of his defenders. And again, we just tramp that one across and stick it into the back of the net with Deli Alley. I'm only just realizing now that I'm scoring tramp goals. And it's not, it's not my normal goal. I normally do hit low-driven shots against the goalkeeper. But... When you're not at the right angle for it and you find yourself out wide, what's the best thing to do is to pass it across goal, right? Because if that guy had played it to the back post rather than trying to, to shoot, he might have come away with a goal right there and it would have been level for him. So some dodgy defending, some dodgy bounces later. He does get through with Bass Dost. Yeah, I'm not too happy to concede a goal against him. He's not known as one of the most crazy players on this game. He's extremely slow, but I guess in front of goal right there, he's got ridiculous shooting. So yeah, I'm not. Yeah, you know, it's not the greatest thing to concede a goal to him, but at the end of the day, uh, he's still an 87 rated striker on FIFA. But straight away from that kickoff, I run with Marcus Alonso and eventually just bang it into the back of the net. I was I was really pleased with that one because that just shows you the sort of thing that he can do. He's actually insane at centre midfield. I would almost play him further up the pitch if I could, but I don't think he would necessarily work as well in a cam spot. Like I think having he's like Kante, works really hard and stuff. Uh, but then at the end of the day, he's like six foot two, whereas Kante isn't. So uh, it it's, it works for you. And Alonso actually pops up with a third goal right here. 81st minute, we're now two goals ahead. Uh, this guy probably isn't too happy, uh, considering, like, I think I'd been bossing it. I just couldn't beat his defenders a lot of the time. So finally, we managed to do it. He pauses straight away when he gets the ball into his possession uh, and quits right there. So, yeah, two games, two quits. That is decent, uh, decent football for me. Well, actually, it's not. It's not I haven't been actually been playing that good at all. Uh, I, I just have a crazy team, which is obviously helping me out for sure. So moving on into the semi-finals, we come up against a team which pretty much matches ours. He's got six tots players, uh, an 86 Emre Chan, a purple Hyungmin Sun. Like that's a really, really stacked team, and of course, 97 rated Ibrahimovic up front, which. Scares the hell out of me, I'm not going to lie. I give possession away early doors and he scores on me. That is not a good start to this game. 
because we're 1-0 down. He then whips it up to Ibra, who slots that one away again. 15 minutes on the clock. We're 2-0 down here. <laughs> this is this is not looking good for us right now. Uh, the guy's been extremely clinical, and that's just worrying me. However, Michael Keane, the, the great top centre-back that he is, has managed to score an absolute thunderbolt of a header into the back of the net. Look at the power and stuff he gets behind that. <coughs> Excuse me very much, but uh, yeah, he like absolutely nutted it into the back of the net. Ridiculous header from the Englishman. Uh, Kyle Walker working his way down the line. I whip this one in and it is blocked by Azpilicueta and Lukaku couldn't score that header there. However, Kante whips it into the box and Michael Keane is there to get his brace in this game. Um, I don't know how or why, uh, but I've scored two corner headers from this game. It's about, I would say I score one goal from like every 10 games from a corner header and we've just scored two in in like the same game, so I'm probably going to have a right dry spell now of not scoring from, from corners. It just works out that way. <coughs> so, Hyung Min Son works his way into the box, takes the shot. We are level now, of course, don't forget. So, anything goes. This guy was probably super confident at 2-0, but now he's thinking, oh my god, can this guy get back into it? Lukaku plays it to Deli Ali, he takes the shot, but... Loris is there to save. However, Deli Ali picks it up here, gets past that defender, and low driven across the goalkeeper, sticks that one into the back of the net, and that is a lovely, lovely goal. He runs off celebrating, and we are 3 2 up in this game. I don't know how, but we've somehow turned it around, and it is looking positive for us to win this game and go ahead and move into the final. Suarez plays this one out to Hyung Min Sun. I think because I'd held the ball for a few minutes there, he started bringing the goalkeeper out and was just like, at this point, I could tell he was stressed the way he was playing. Slide tackles going in all over the place. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, referee blows that final whistle and we can progress into the final. Woo! I've already done this on my Road to Glory with obviously not such a stacked team. You'll see that video later on in the week uh, and we we'll, yeah, we'll get to it soon. But we move on in to the final. Now... I didn't know what to think when I saw this team because there, there are a lot of players here which just fit that that meta of of, of what what works on FIFA 17 like uh, Usman Dembele, Dybala, uh, Son. Like there, there's some great players there, but the team isn't obviously as stacked as mine. You're seeing how I change my team by the way, like in game to put the players in the right positions, meaning that they all stay on the the correct chem that they started the game off on, which is great. Uh, a Berber spin and a shot there just blocked by Chris Smalling. Butland then rolls one out, which we tackle with Lukaku. And I accidentally press Finesse instead of Chip. And uh, I overpower it as well. Eventually, it just gets saved. I nearly score there with Young Min Son, but Eric Bai was there to defend. Like Eric Bai and Chris Smalling, probably one of the most overpowered duos that we've ever had in terms of like regular gold centre backs on any FIFA ever. Uh, they are crazy good, and I would actually uh, like you guys to come up with who was ever better than them two in defence. So we go 1-0 down at half-time. You can see he's had one shot off target. I don't know how that works out. Uh, but the only chance that he's actually had on goal, he took. And we only had two in the first half. This guy was really good at holding the ball and going in a different direction than I thought he would do with either Dembele or Son or Dybala. That is a really, really good front three if you're not looking for a target man and you're just looking for crazy players with crazy dribbling. Uh, but Hyung Min Son picks up a free kick here. He tells David Luiz to get off it. I want it, man. I'm going to take this free kick. And he's got crazy stats as well. I put a second man and a third man on to make him think that I wasn't going to shoot. I take the shot and it goes into the back of the net. Despite him managing to just about get a player on the line. And we do get our equaliser. Now, it wasn't from open play. And... I've got to say, it looked like that was going to be the only real way I was going to score because I couldn't get past this guy's defense. He was solid in that area. And as I said, most of the time he was just hanging up by my area with, with either Dybala, Son or Usman Dembele. But that equalizing goal seemed to switch things a little bit and I guess he got a bit nervous. We scoop the defender with Young Min Son and we do score the goal to go 2-1 up in the 72nd minute. Now that is a, there is still about 20 FIFA minutes left here, which means that it's not a safe time to just like play normal football. You've got to be very, very like 
possession based. Try not to lose the ball because anything you do could result in a goal. Like I shouldn't have shot there. I probably should have just passed it back to my midfielder and retained possession. He does get through but Heung-Min Sun could not quite pull that shot off. Uh, and eventually as you can see Kante gives me the ball. I knock it back to the keeper. But he blows the final whistle and we are able to win Tots Pulisic. So of course what that also means is we get access to the weekend league uh, i'll probably be playing it on my road to glory more than anything else but if you guys don't already follow me on twitter i actually did play quite a lot of weekend league on my main account this weekend and actually got gold three with like 12 games remaining or something which is the first time i've ever gone ahead and got gold i never play foot champs on my main account so we've won Toch Pulisic and he looks actually really, really good. For a free player, this guy looks insane. 94 pace, 89 dribbling, 85 shooting and 88 passing. I will, of course, do a Fotwiz player uh, review for you guys so you know how, whether or not he's worth the effort to try and pick him up. But he slots in, in uh, on into my uh, Bundesliga side really, really well right there. Obviously going to put him in that right wing position. Um... Not too sure about chemistry style just yet. Like, what would you go for on there? Do we just need Deadeye? Do we need Sniper or Finisher or Marksman? I don't know. Let me know what you think, guys, would be the best uh, chemistry style for Pulisic. He looks to be a bit of a monster. I'm so happy that I've now got him on both accounts. Uh, and as I said, you'll see that on the Road to Glory throughout the week. Now, uh, normally I would try and, like, uh, not give away that spoiler, but... Of course, it's it's not the end of the world. It's going to be going out later in the week. And I think a lot of you will have won him by then as well. So uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you can see that I've already won him twice. So uh, by the process of elimination, you know that I've got him on both of my accounts. So uh, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you smash a thumbs up. Basically, use the best team that you can possibly do. And uh, don't forget that by Wednesday, the requirements change. And you would need three silver players in your squad rather than the best squad that you can possibly get. So maybe try and win it into either today or tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Smash a like on the video if you've enjoyed. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Peace.